What's going on guys, Peter Zane coming at you via Marketify and Benzinga with your market outlook uh, via the options for the week of August 12th here. Uh, let's take a look at what happened last week, uh, relatively same levels as we played off the uh, previous week before, break of 170 brought it to lower levels towards 169, but the complex wasn't very clean at getting there. Uh, I wouldn't say that you know this is really you know, smart money pushing things lower, it's more like sloppy you know retail money. Uh, trying to short a dull market kind of look. Um, short opportunities have not been the best, nor are long opportunities out there. Um, even while we are peeling lower, the VIX is still sitting at all-time lows. So you've got this really weird disjoint area where you have volatility still sitting at lows and the stock market is slowly peeling off lower. Um, and when you have something like that happening, usually this is time to stay on the sidelines. Um, even for option sellers out there, there's not enough volatility to sell. On top of that, uh, for guys who want to short, you can't really short during the day. You have to really just take a conviction for saying, oh, you know, if something rips to highs, I'm going to be willing to short it there without even really taking a look at the tape. Um, unfortunately, this isn't the best risk reward. Overall, I would say relax in cash. If you want to play, make sure that if you're going short, just sell the rips. If you're playing long, buy the dips and uh, go for an overnight move. Um, and overall the complex, uh, it's looking kind of bearish. Uh, all the banks, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, uh, Bank of America, they all ended on lows um, from the previous week. Um, on top of that, the, the, uh, the technology companies are just kind of all over the place. You got Amazon kind of like flat, uh, you've got Apple going on lows, you've got Google going on lows, and then you have Priceline earnings that came out, busted all the way through uh, towards uh, 998, almost through the attempt to 1000, and of course faded lower. Um, and actually, for the next week, we're looking for the same thing, guys. Um, overall, there's no catalyst. Um, all the big Wall Street players are probably in the Hamptons, just relaxing, and we're probably looking at this for the next anywhere between you know one and a half weeks to two weeks. Um, if you want to play any levels, just watch your spy 169. The obvious levels are 168 and 167. Um, again, you know, pay attention to your complex. Make sure that if you're going for a short that you have um, some things under the hood that look like shorts. If they don't look like a good short, don't go after it. Um, if you're playing via the options, I would play with at the money options since we're at such low volatility levels um, and you want to catch a nice move on a stock, that's totally fine. Um, overall, personally, I would either be playing stock and scalping it, um, taking a very, very small positions overnight uh, for swings into the longs or shorts. Um, with the same process of shorting the rips or buying the dips, but right now, you know, bears and uh, bulls are getting kind of pillaged all over the place. A lot of traders cannot trade this type of environment because the tape does not exist for very long. You know, it'll it'll be good for 30 minutes and boof, you know, there's no momentum left to either direction. So again, guys, uh, careful the chop, uh, mind the levels, and uh, use your risk reward systems. Um, enjoy the summer too, you know, guys. It's not your job to try to make money every single day, but it's your job to put risk on at the right times uh, in the market environments that are good for you. So if this is not your environment, if you're not a good range trader, just relax. Um, you know, wait for the momentum to come back in and get back in there. All right, guys, over and out.